What If You Had an Animal Nose by Sandra Markle and Howard McWilliam. What If You Had an Animal Nose, author Sandra Markle, illustrator Howard McWilliam. What if one day when you woke up and looked in the mirror, the nose on your face wasn't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's nose took its place? What if you had a taper nose? A taper is a plant-eating animal with a very handy nose. Its nose moves and bends to grab leaves off a branch or push fruit into the taper's mouth. A taper's nose is joined with its upper lip. It bends and moves so well because it is made of muscle. Once a nose is that big and movable, it's called a proboscis. Tapers mainly eat at night, so they bend their noses in all directions to sniff out food in the dark. If you had a taper snout, you could catch a home run ball even with your hands full. What if you had a cottontail rabbit nose? A rabbit's nose is packed with smell sensors, and rabbit noses twitch for many different reasons. A rabbit wiggles its nose up and down to pull more air in when it sniffs. That helps it find food or tell when hungry hunters are close so it can hop to safety. A rabbit's nose twitches faster when it is interested or excited, sometimes as many as 120 times a minute. Rabbits have long, super sensitive whiskers on either side of their nose. These whiskers help rabbits feel if a space is big enough to squeeze through, even in the dark. If you had a rabbit's nose, your twitching nose would show your school spirit. What if you had an elephant's nose? An elephant's nose may be the most useful nose on the planet. It's so long and special, it even has its own name, a trunk. An elephant's trunk can sniff smells from lots of directions, even from up high. It can lift and carry something as heavy as a big log. An elephant also uses its trunk to pull in water as much as two gallons at a time. Then it sprays a drink in its mouth or gives itself a shower. The tip of an elephant's trunk works like fingers. It can pick up something as little as a peanut and pop it into its mouth. If you had an elephant's trunk, you wouldn't need to go to a water park in the summer. What if you had a grizzly bear nose? A grizzly bear's nose is also packed with smell sensors. No wonder this bear is a champ at tracking down food, sometimes from over a mile away. It needs to find and eat all the food it can before winter. That's when a grizzly bear goes into a deep sleep called hibernation and usually doesn't eat at all. The smell sensing areas in a grizzly bear's nose are a hundred times bigger than a human's. If you had a grizzly bear's nose, you could sniff out all your favorite goodies and only trick or treat at the best houses. What if you had a warthog's nose. A warthog's nose isn't pretty, but it's the perfect food finder. First, the warthog uses its strong sense of smell to sniff out the underground roots and bulbs it likes to eat. Then, the warthog rolls its nose around to dig into soft soil with some help from its tusks. Finally, the warthog uses its nose to lift dirt out of the hole until it finds the roots and, or bulbs to munch. Warthogs greet each other with nose-to-nose -nose bumps. If you had a warthog's nose, you would never need anything but your nose to build sandcastles. What if you had a saiga nose? A saiga is a sheep-sized antelope with a proboscis nose. Its proboscis is lined with hairs and snotty mucus, making it perfect for filtering out dust. That's important because the saiga's homeland is often dry and dusty. Herds of saigas live together and kick up a lot of dust traveling in search of grass to eat. Some saigas live in parts of Russia where winters are very cold. The saiga's big nose heats up icy air as the saiga breathes in. If you had a saiga's nose, you would never notice when a room was dusty. What if you had a star-nosed mole nose. 
A star-nosed mole is a small burrowing animal that uses its nose to find dinner in the dark underground and sometimes even underwater. The star-nosed mole uses its nose to smell, but it also uses it to feel for food. Its nose has 22 fleshy rays around the nostrils. These are always moving and quick as a blink, the mole knows if its nose touches food, like a worm or an insect. To smell underwater, the star-nosed mole blows bubbles and then sniffs, pulling the air bubbles into its nose past its smell sensors. If you had a star-nosed mole nose, you could find a midnight snack without turning on the kitchen light. What if you had a rhinoceros nose? A rhinoceros is the only animal with a horn on its nose. It's made up of layers of keratin, the same stuff that human hair and fingernails are made of. Male rhinos use their horns to duel for mates. Females use theirs to guard their babies. Besides having a horn, a rhino's nose has a keen sense of smell to find leaves and fruit to eat. They can also sniff for enemies like lions. A baby rhinoceros isn't born with a horn, but one soon starts growing and never stops. If you had a rhinoceros's nose, you'd be the perfect bodyguard. What if you had a giant anteater nose? What looks like a giant anteater's long nose is really its upper and lower jaws joined together. Its nose is on the tip of this long tube. This nose is perfect for poking into hard to reach places to sniff out yummy insects like ants and termites. A giant anteater also uses its long nose like a snorkel when it goes swimming so it can breathe while underwater. When it smells insects, the giant anteater flicks its super long tongue in and out quickly as many as 160 times in a minute and gets bugs by the thousands. If you had a giant anteater's nose, you could go scuba diving without a snorkel. What if you had a beret's horseshoe bat nose. A beret's horseshoe bat's nose makes it a super nighttime bug hunter. Like other bats, a beret's horseshoe bat hunts by snorting high-pitched noises out its nose and listening for echoes of anything around them. But most bats shoot sound in every direction at once. The shape of this bat's nose channels the sound so it can pinpoint exactly where to snag an insect. To save energy, a beret's horseshoe bat often hangs from a branch while snorting noises. When an echo signals an insect is nearby, the bat flies after it. If you had a beret's horseshoe bat's nose, you'd catch every fly that tried to spoil your picnic. What if you had a hammerhead shark nose? A hammerhead shark's nose is only for smelling, not breathing. The shark swings its head side to side, forcing water into a nostril near each eye. Because its nostrils are so far apart, the shark can tell if a fishy scent is stronger to the left or right. Then it tracks down its dinner. A hammerhead shark can smell blood from wounded prey as far as a half mile away. If you had a hammerhead shark's nose, you would always know the best places to fish. A wild animal's nose could be cool for a while, but you don't use your nose to spray water or to dig in the ground. You don't need your nose to catch flies or to be a snorkel while you swim underwater. And you'll never grab anything with your nose, no matter what. So, if you could keep a wild animal nose for more than a day, what kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The nose on your face will always be a people nose. It, would, it will be what you need to breathe and sniff all the scents around you. It's the perfect place to rest glasses if you need them to see better. Best of all, your nose is just what you need to look like you. Thanks for reading.